educational television. Sounds good. <laughs> loopy layers! Loopy layers! Do you know your layers of the earth? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our show, Loopy Layers, where we test your knowledge about the layers of earth. Today we have our contestants, Mary and Susie. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mary. I'm a middle school science teacher, so I win. All the money is going to go to textbooks for my class. Very nice. How about you, Susie? Art rocks! Yes, it does. Now, today our game will work like this. If you get a question right, you'll get 10 points. If you get it wrong, your opponent will have a chance to steal it for 5 points. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, our first question goes to Mary. What two substances are the inner and outer core made of? Iron and nickel? Correct! Next question is for Susie. How many kilometers into the Earth is the outer core? Uh, seven! I'm sorry, the answer isn't seven. Would you like to steal it, Mary? Yes, um, it's 2,900 kilometers. Indeed! That brings you to a total of 15 points, and Susie has no points at this moment. But after this commercial break, we'll come back and see who wins Loopy Layers! Have you ever wanted something that can do just about everything? I know I have. Well, now you can. Introducing rocks. They're just so amazing. You can scrub your feet, brush your hair, and even sharpen your knives. <laughs> or you can defeat your enemies. <laughs> Rocks are all natural and biodegradable, so when you're done, you can just throw it away. <laughs> you can get a rock for only fifteen ninety-five, but if you call right now, you can get your second rock for free. We are not responsible for injuries of your enemies or anybody else while using the rock. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Loopy Layers. As you may remember, our contestant Mary is in the lead with 15 points, and Susie's coming up behind her with zero. Our next question is for Mary. What layer of the Earth does convection occur in? Um, I don't know. The seal is for Susie. I know this one! It's the Athenosphere! Correct! Susie, your next question is, what two layers are included in the lithosphere? The crust and the mantle! Right! Now, for the tiebreaker question, whoever answers this right gets the one million dollars. It's on! Your question is, how many degrees is the inner core? Five thousand degrees Celsius! Correct! You win the one million dollars! And you get the fame and glory of winning Loopy Lairs. See you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Want to watch the news today? Sure. On Tuesday, there are going to be many showers. And on th this just is breaking news. A volcano has erupted in Arlington, Massachusetts. Now let's talk to our experts. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go into detail, I think you should know that a volcano right underneath the Odyssey Middle School has erupted. <sighs> Since it was not during school hours, there were a few people in the building and they managed to escape. We were very lucky because if the children had been in the school, it would have been disastrous. Needless to say, the school was destroyed and it will be closed for the rest of the year. We are guessing that the magma chamber has been growing for some time now. It erupted at 1.32 p.m. When it first left the vent, it formed a crater in the school's cafeteria. The lava flow made it to Mass Ave, but it isn't going any further. So unless you li live very close to the school, there is no need to evacuate. You know, that weather lady kind of looks like you. I don't really see it. Oh well, let's turn on the soap opera channel and watch our favorite characters, Bonnie and Ronnie, see what they're up to. Yeah! <laughs> A waking quake. 
What's that noise? <gasps> it's an earthquake. Is our house safe? I don't know. Is the floorboard secure to the foundation? Yes. Is the water heater strapped to the wall? We don't want a fire. We're all good there. Is our bed too close to our plate glass windows? No. I redecorated yesterday. Did we support our crawl space under the house with plywood? Yes, but what about the bookshelves? Did we secure them with L-shaped brackets? I thought you were going to do that! Uh-oh. <laughs> they were okay. I know, those are my favorite characters. Let's change the channel. Yeah. Welcome to Project Program. Lately, I've been thinking about seismographs and earthquakes. So, today I decided we'd make our seismograph of our own, like the ones they use for the Richter scale. So, I have a line with, on a piece of paper, a book, and a pen. So, I'm going to shake the book at, while I'm pulling the paper with the pen on it to see how much the paper shakes and to see how big the earthquake is. Let's begin. As you can see, the harder I shook, the farther away that the wave went away from the baseline, which means the farther away the wave, the bigger the earthquake. Thank you for watching today. How about that for some quality television? Quaking quake. What's that noise? <gasps> it's an earthquake. Is our house safe? I don't know. Let's check. <laughs> Iris, what are you doing? My fishy face. I no, know. That went oh, away. Where? Now, which... Ladies and gentlemen, before I should...